National Educator. Hello, Lana. Welcome to our secondary school revision in business studies, our lesson 14. The topic of revision today is the trial balance. Lana, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to interpret the various questions and give the most appropriate solution. Let's go to our first activity. And in our first activity, we get our first question. That question reads, outline four purposes of a trial balance as used in bookkeeping. Outline four purposes of a trial balance as used in bookkeeping. The award of marks is four. So we need to look at the key areas whereby we need to note before we answer the question. So the first aspect is that we refresh ourselves and say the theme of the question is on the trial balance. Then we refresh and say a trial balance refers to a statement prepared showing a summary of debit and credit balances from ledger accounts. That one is key so that you know what statement you are preparing. Once you have known that, we need to also to re refresh and find out that we have had the bookkeeping. And in bookkeeping is the systematic way of recording business transactions. So as the transactions takes place systematically one after the other, not jumbling them up and down. So the one comes first should appear first until the last one that comes in. That's why we say systematic way of recording business transactions. Once we have done that, we need to now ask ourselves, what is in the question? And what is in the question is purpose. Purpose means reason or cause as to why something is done. Why are you preparing a trial balance? That is the purpose of a trial balance. So we want to know these reasons. We look at the requirement is that for purposes. The requirement is for purposes. The term used in testing is to outline. So we need also to know what it means by outlining. So to outline means mentioning the fact as it is precisely in point form. So we are not going to add any others of our own, but we just mention that fact as it is precisely in point form. We look at the award of marks that we have been given so that we know the depth of our answer, so that you look at the depth of it and you know how far you'll go. And in our case here is four purposes each at one mark, giving us a total of four marks. So it is not something very big. Then we can have our expected responses. And the first one is to assist in checking on the accuracy of posting uh, transactions to the ledger. Assist in checking the accuracy of posting transactions to the ledger. Some of us don't do it correctly. So this uh, purpose of the trial balance will assist us to check on our accuracy there. The second one is to check on the arithmetical accuracy of the ledger. Did you do your arithmetic correctly, your additions correctly, your subtractions correctly in the ledger so that you get the balancing brought down or the balance carried down? That is what we are looking at. Then we are also going to 
forget that to provide account balances at the end uh, at the end of the year 